This episode going really is B's declaration for Ali, her open declaration to take her on board as they're now a two shot around the prison. Um, when Kaz spots that, it's um, a challenge to her and that triggers her into a next event where she goes and sees Tina where ostensibly her plan is to take down B uh, by joining together with uh, the Asian gang. Just in relation to Jake, I found that his storyline really fascinating. What an ordinary person can do when they've made a couple of bad decisions and it puts them in, into a different orbit. Jake makes the decision uh, later in the season to, uh, to up the game, I guess, in terms of the, um, the integration of drugs into the prison. It gives Jake a rush when he first does that deal. It's like, okay, I am now in the big leagues, you know? The drugs get found. He's now into the dealers for, uh, for a, a large sum of money, which they are going to force him to pay up or suffer the uh, extreme circumstances. And they're pretty uncompromising fellas. When Jake arrives at Wentworth Prison, he pretty quickly gravitates towards Joan Ferguson and he is deeply fascinated by her. She, she offers to pay him out of his debt to Turk, thus clear him of that, of that drug deal, as long as he does something for her. So we have a, uh, we have a, mutual, uh, a, a mutual advantage situation going on where I guess, it's, I guess it's a symbiosis where one of them needs the other. Well, we see B lag on another inmate, which is a big no-no. <laughs> She's broken one of her own rules. Uh, and I think that at this point she found it necessary because her war on drugs uh, was, she was losing it. And I think at this point too, she felt like she was gonna lose the person who she was in love with. I feel that B has always acted in the interest of the women, never herself. And at this moment, she still was acting in the interest of the women. When B actually abdicates in the yard, you feel that she's uh, constructed her own downfall. Ultimately, you see that it is something that she wanted, something that she needed. B and I, they, really get to consummate their love for each other and in an open way, in an equal way, there's no hiding anymore. I, I think that they, you know, there, there's the awkwardness has left the building and I think that they are in love with each other at this point. B, we've still got the place to ourselves. They say nothing lasts forever and um, but certainly is the case for B, her newfound happiness. Um, is quickly extinguished by Ferguson. So when this happens, I think B feels like she was fairly prophetic. That she knew this was gonna happen. She blames herself. It's not the first time that she's lost someone, um, but it's the first time I think she's lost someone close to her that she feels this way about. And I think that Ali is the great love of her life. Devastating. <laughs>